welcome to another tutorial. My name is Tammy Bakshi and this time we're going to be going over, well, my third IoT video and this time we're going over the TJ Bot and plus with John Cohn. So John, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm John. Um, I've been in IBM 35 years. I'm the chief scientist for the Watson IoT division and I'm based in Munich and helping bring up our new headquarters there and we're going to get him here. All right, so let's begin. Uh, now, today we're talking about IoT. So you specialize in IoT, uh, and Watson IoT, cognitive IoT. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, but today we're really specially going to be talking about the TJ Bot. Uh, and the reason I'm actually so interested in this is because it's a perfect example uh, for really kids and beginners to get into uh, IoT and really cognitive IoT with Watson. Uh, Where did you get fact, that? Where did you get that TJ Bot? Yes, let, that's what I was just oh. about to get to. Uh, so. Actually, this TJ Bot over here, I actually got this TJ Bot from Rob High with, from my innovation talk yesterday uh, at IBM Interconnect 2017. That's actually where we are right now uh, in a meeting room. Uh, so we're at Interconnect 2017 yesterday. I had an innovation talk with Rob High uh, and on stage he actually uh, surprised me with this gift. Uh, so this is absolutely great. Thanks Rob uh, for giving us the TJ Bot and now I can't wait to really create some really neat IMS, uh, or IoT stuff with this. Uh, so I guess we can just you know, open this up and talk a little bit about what the TJ Bot actually is and what it is. Uh, Why don't we talk a little bit about IoT? So I'm yeah. kind of curious what you think. I think of you as a cognitive guy. Tell me about your interest in IoT. Definitely. Well, the Internet of Things, you know this, but the Internet of Things is about connecting everything. And that's really what I love about IoT, how we can gather so much big data. And since I absolutely love cognitive, that's amazing for me. Because the thing is, big data and cognitive really fit together. Uh, because of course, the more data you have, the better your cognitive ability. Uh, what do you think about IoT? Well, I don't, you know, two years ago, I didn't even know how to spell IoT, but it turns out that I've been making things that are hooked to uh, each other, hooked to the internet for a long time, and I really like that. And what we're finding is it's it's coming up in just so many industries, in cars, medicine, insurance, and it's really, really fun to actually, exactly. you know, it's, it's, it combines the physical world and the logical world. And what I, I think you're exactly right is, especially when you make that cognitive, when you can make a thing smart, when you can make a thing learn. Exactly. And actually the ideas we were talking about downstairs really got me thinking about something. I, I've got an idea. All right. In fact, if you'd like to t know more about what we were talking about, I have a YouTube video about that as well, and there will be a link to that in the description so you can find out more about that. But all right, now let's get to the TJ Bot and what it's capable of with IoT. So John, what do you really love about the TJ Bot? And also, while we're doing that, uh, I'm actually just going to start you know, opening up the TJ Bot, and there's going to be a separate video of how you can actually set up the TJ Bot, uh, construct it, uh, for, and you can actually get these from Amazon, by the way, uh, link in the description, uh, and of course, uh, what exactly these are, what these do, and some example code to get you running with the TJ Bot. So John, though, what do you love about the TJ Bot? Well, what the TJ Bot is a little cardboard friend that has a uh, a small computer, Raspberry Pi, which I'm sure most of your viewers know about, and a, a couple of other features for input and output. It has a small servo motor for moving. It has a camera for seeing. It has a microphone for hearing, and then you can use all of the Watson APIs to, to bring life to it. And it's, we put these things out so that you can make them yourselves. You can either buy one on Amazon, or we'll send you the files so you can cut them out on your own laser cutter. And what we're finding is there's no limit to the, the kind of uh, creativity that people have and what they've applied. I hooked mine up to a Tesla coil so that when I talk to it, it sent out a quarter of a million volt spark. <laughs> I really can't wait to see what you make. Exactly. Thank you. So, of course, though, we will collaborate on that. We'll create another YouTube video about an example with the TJ Bot as well. All right. So, the TJ Bot is actually powered by a Raspberry Pi, of course, a uh, single board computer. Uh, and so, the Raspberry Pi is basically the heart of the TJ Bot. It's the mind of the TJ Bot, and it's what controls uh, everything that the TJ Bot has. Uh, now, the TJ Bot also comes with, of course, speakers, microphones, and cameras. Uh, the, in this case, we're using the Anchor uh, Bluetooth speaker for its audio. Uh, and apart from that, of course, we've got some other accessories in this box. Uh, but I guess you could say the main part in this box is the TJ Bot itself. And the TJ Bot is actually really interesting. And if you can see inside of this cardboard right here. Let's and take one see. of those out. Let's yeah, take sure. Because we can show these. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so if I actually just take out the entire piece here. 
as you can see, this is actually a piece of cardboard, a little... Um, it unfolds, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is actually a little, um, I guess you could say, piece of cardboard here that's been cut to actually have these little modules that you can actually then rip out, fold, and then you can, you know, attach them together to create your TJ bot. And that's really what's so interesting about these, how it's so easy to set up, uh, and so, uh, so I guess you could say beginner-friendly, kid-friendly. Uh, what, I, what I really like is that this is just a digital file. It's basically a, a, a simple SketchUp file, or the equivalent, and you can take take this file. We'll send it to you. You can go into a tool like Illustrator or or uh, an open source tool and change it. You can resize it. You can add different features and legs, etc. And then you can go to a makerspace like we have in Munich or most big exactly. cities have them. And you can actually cut it out with your own laser. But this is so much fun. It's about 90 seconds to cut out both sides of it. And it even smells good when you're doing it. <laughs> and that's the best part. All right, so that's the TJ bot, uh, what's in the box and how it's powered. But John Cohn, would you like to go over a little bit about what developers can actually do with the TJ bot and what it's capable of? Well, basically, you know, what you're doing is you're making a really cute embodiment of a Raspberry Pi mm. that has a camera, a microphone, and a, and a, a motor actuator. Exactly. And so, you know, that is, if you think about it, it's like a canvas. You can paint anything mm -hmm. on that. So we've had people, uh, we've had people do face recognition like you and I were talking about. Exactly. We've had people do uh, music, you know, play music. Actually, believe it or not, this uh, wireless speaker has really got a nice uh, sound system. So you can use it like, you know, play my favorite song. Um, we have, <clears throat> I used mine, as I said, to, to I build Tesla coils, which generate uh, like quarter million to half a million volts, you know, a meter long spark. And I hooked my uh, TJ bot up to so I could tell it to turn the Tesla coil on. Exactly. One thing I noticed is you never should put a Raspberry Pi too close to a quarter of a million volts. <laughs> so on my second Raspberry Pi, I put them further apart. But uh, people have done all sorts of things with them. And then not only can you decorate the inside of this with code, you can decorate the outside. Exactly. I, uh, I'll tell you a story. Is uh, We just had a hackathon in uh, Munich in where I work. And uh, we made a bunch of them. We made uh, made eleven of them for people. And in testing one of those, one of my uh, uh, one of my uh, uh, colleagues put, played a prank on me. She's not even a software person. She's very smart. She's not a software person. And she made a, a TJ bot. We have a bunch of them around. And she made one around around that. That whenever I walked by, it said, "Hey, John." <laughs> I think she was pushing a button, but it really surprised me because it had never talked to me before. It had exactly. always been there. Yeah. <laughs> And so that's what you can do with the TJ Bot. That's what it's capable of and why it's so interesting. Uh, and so that's what we had to cover about the TJ Bot and IoT. Uh, now I know this is actually quite a short video, but unfortunately we don't have enough, uh, I guess you'd say, time to actually go through creating an example application just yet. But very soon you'll be seeing another collaboration video uh, with me and John Cohen, my mentor, uh, with, of course, this IoT project and, of course, setting up the TJ Bot itself, uh, working with its software and creating some really interesting and neat applications that use the power of Watson and of course IoT in order to create a really powerful mix with the TJ bot. I can't wait All to right. see what you're gonna build. It's gonna be interesting, I'm sure. Definitely. Thank you. All right, so again I'd like to say thank you to my mentor uh, John Cohen. So of course uh, please watch out for our next videos. This is going to be in a special playlist uh, for our next video in Toronto actually uh, with my other mentor Marcus Van Kempen in Toronto uh, and of course John Cohen. All right, so thank you very much for watching today. That's going to be it for the video. And of course, if you enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like down below. And if you believe, if you, if you have any other questions, suggestions, or feedback, leave them down in the comment section below. You can email them to me at tajimani.gmail.com or you can tweet them to me at tajimani. John Cohn, how can they contact you? Oh, you know what? I'm John Cohn VT on just about everything. Gmail, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, blog, but John Cohn VT. And I'm the guy that looks kind of like this. I look kind of crazy. So you shouldn't have All any right. trouble finding me. So Perfect. thank you very much. I can't wait to see what you're doing. Perfect. Write. Thank you. But just before we go, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, if you want to watch more content, please do make sure because it really does help out a lot. And if you'd like to be notified whenever I do release new content, make sure to turn on notifications as well. All right. Thank you very much for watching today. Thank Goodbye. you. Goodbye.